First of all, it's it's souvenir of Fantasia and the life of Florence Foster Jenkins. Uh, very briefly, uh, a Manhattan socialite back in the 30s, the 40s. Uh, loved to sing, had a passion for music. The only problem was she couldn't eat cold pitch, she couldn't sing, she, she not, not very good. Um, but she proceeded with her uh, devoted accompanist Cosme McMoon and uh, she became famous. You know, the Pat Carnegie Hall with 2,000 people. And um, there you have it. There was a film done in 2016 that starred Meryl Streep um, as Florence Foster Jenkins. Uh, Streep was nominated for what, maybe her 15th or 16th Academy Award. And um, it's a delightful story for those people here at Riverside that love the musicals. It's got sort of a musical edge to it as well. There's a lot of music in the show. so. Um, it, it's it, it's a great evening. The people that have been in thus far have, have loved it. And uh, a lot of laughs, which is good for us right now during this period. What's it like to, well, first of all, what's it like to be back on stage again? Oh, it's just amazing. Um, there for a while, we, we didn't know if that would happen in the, you know, um, as soon as it, as it has. So it's just, it's been wonderful. And um, to be able to share the stage with, you know, Carson and, to be able to see friendly faces that we've seen in other productions, patrons come back and um, it's just, I'm over the moon. I'm just, I'm thrilled, really. The, the, the show itself, I hear it's funny. Yes, <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, bless her heart, <laughs> you know, she just tries and tries and tries. And really in her mind, she's the, one of the best singers that has ever graced the stage. Um, you know, there's just, you know, the world has to hear her. And her friends have always said, oh my, you must, you know, you must <laughs> sing for others, not just us. So, you know, she, she got that idea and she went with it and you couldn't stop her. <laughs> What's it like you as a trained singer to play this part because everyone assumes, oh, that must be easy. I think it would, it's, I mean, I, it's, it's acting and I'm sure there's a lot more acting. Well, it's funny because um, it's very fun. I have to say <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And even in my, when I was in college training, we always did things like that, you know, but um, it, it really, um, I, I'm using my technique the whole time. I have to, because it takes a lot to sing badly well you know it yeah. really does um so it's been quite challenging but i it's been just a blast really so much fun and um sometimes hard not to not to laugh at <laughs> myself you know to be on the stage so much is 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 that harder um it really has taken um working my stamina you know really um when i first started it was uh, with the with the rehearsal period and everything um, it was tough. It was really tough, you know, just getting back out there and, and not really having once you're on stage, not really having much of a break. Um, but yeah, is once I'm out here and I'm with Carson, um, it just, it goes by so quickly. It really does. It's just, you know, um, there's not even time to think about fatigue or tire, you know, it's just energy and it's just, you know, we just go and, and we don't stop. And I, I, do you tell pe many people often that you're, you are, you're working at singing bad well? It's a great line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but actually, no, I'm singing well. <laughs> you know, I'm, I mean, the best. <laughs> you're in character. Yeah. For you. Um, to be back on stage right now, it's gotta be great. It a really great is. feeling. Absolutely. I just, I know so many friends and colleagues right now are, are really struggling. They're, they're not sure where their next job's coming from in this industry right now. And so in just sharing what I'm doing on social media and seeing the response that people are giving that is so encouragement, just encouragement and excitement for me, but mostly just for the arts, that, that they're still alive, that they haven't gone anywhere. Um, it's truly just been such a blessing for me to be back on stage. And for myself, I'm, I'm a music director by trade for the last couple of years. I uh, had a fortune to work with Patrick on a number of shows as well as around the state on a couple other theaters. But I grew up and, and really began my career in the theater as a performer. So having a chance to be back on stage and singing and playing, doing that musical direction side of it, but also acting, it's just been a, a real treat, so. It just, it seems so long since I've been in here. Yeah. And, and, and to see a stage, and just to see you, both of you, you know, dressed up. And... Absolutely. It feels surreal, it really does. Yeah. 
but I mean, and, and it's and it's interesting because we've had some audiences in so far, and it is odd to look out and see people in masks and socially distanced. So there is there's a little bit of an oddness to it, and I'm sure for the people out there as well. But at the same time, once the show starts and you really just sit back and you you really just realize it's it's theater. I mean, it's live theater, and it might be different, and it might not be exactly what we've come to expect from live theater, but it's still live theater, and that's that's pretty exciting that that's happening. It's getting us back to normal. Absolutely. This show seems like a lot of fun, and for you it must be. Absolutely. Getting to work with Andrew is always a treat. Um, and the show is just so well written, um, because I think through the eyes of my character Cosme, her accompanist, it's kind of how I look at it is his eyes or the audience's eyes. Um, so when you first see her and she's singing so horribly, you know, his reaction is, is, is she serious? Like, is, is this really real? Um, but over the course of time, he comes to really realize just how dedicated she is, just how much she loves the work that she does. And I think that really inspires him. You know, I think he really comes to have a greater appreciation for his own work and his own music because he sees how dedicated she is. And that's really an inspiration to him. And so I think you as the audience member go along on that journey with him and with, with Florence as well. It seems is, is is a lot of is, is a lot of what you do in this in, in this production uh, facial expressions. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Especially that first time I hear her sing, um, it's it's utter shock, also a little bit of disbelief, and and frankly just humor. I mean, I think you have to laugh at it a little bit. Um, but I think, as I said, I think it's over the course of time that laughter is something that we talk about quite often during the piece and. She doesn't hear the laughter, or if she does, she thinks it's more like, oh, they're laughing along and they're having a good yeah. time. It's not until at the end when she's singing this very poignant kind of somber song and they're laughing at her, she's, she starts to realize, oh, they're laughing at me. Um, and that really hits hard, hits hard for her, but also for him as well, because he's come to really care about it. I will say, and I think the two of them will agree with me, um, I have been fastidious about doing everything right. And uh, we have been, the doors have been open since July with our Sip and Sing Supper Club, and um, we have been fine. Uh, we have already had one week of, of souvenir. We have been fine. Um, we are doing a theater-only experience in here, so there's no food, there's no drink. You'll wear your mask during the 90-minute show mm -hmm. without an intermission. Um, if people do want to have a bite to eat, they can do that across the hall. Uh, on the, our event side where we have a, a light fair menu, appetizers, and of course they can get drinks. Um, everything has been done and socially distanced. Our, our company manager, James Davis, has spent countless hours in uh, preparing the, the lobby for us and uh, arrows and where people go and stanchions set up so that people know you can only go one way this way and the other way that way. Um, the temperature checks, the sanitation stations. Um, we, we've tried to cover every base that we can, and we've also asked our employees and our staff to be very careful what they do outside of here, because that's what's so important as well. I mean, we can't keep everybody in a bubble, but we can ask them to be responsible mm -hmm. because you know we want to try to keep ourselves as safe as we can here. So. We have covered all those bases, Ted, and I, I ask anybody to go to our Facebook page or um, read some of the articles, but everybody that's been in thus far has said what a great job we've done. So um, nothing is foolproof, um, you know, as we know with this virus, but um, uh, I think we've, we've done everything we possibly can to, to make it uh, possible for people to come in and experience live theater again. And, the two, these two actors that I'm working with, you know, it's it's the real deal. It's not just us doing a good old college try to get a little play up. It's really, really quite amazing. And uh, as the director of this show, I couldn't be more proud of them. I mean, they work so hard, and uh, I would put this production up against any other regional production in the area. It's 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 that good.